paving the way for a greener energy future. What we're seeing is an industrial green revolution. Off the back of a trip to central Queensland where he announced plans for the world's largest green energy hydrogen manufacturing facility, mining magnate Andrew Twiggy Forrest revealed a partnership with Incitec Pivot to see if their Brisbane ammonia facility can be converted to run on hydrogen. It's the second really exciting day in a row where Queensland leads Australia, where Queensland leads the world in really exciting sustainable green industries. We will investigate building a new plant on site to uh, produce about 50,000 tonnes of renewable hydrogen. That will in turn be turned into green ammonia. Ammonia is manufactured for fertiliser and explosives and is a greenhouse intensive industry. The modern economy does not work without ammonia, whether it be fertiliser for farmers or dyes or textiles or explosives. The three-month study could result in a $400 million investment aimed at cutting pollution and securing jobs. More than 400 people work here. We want to make sure that they continue to work here for decades to come. The Premier is counting on projects like this to help the state reach its green energy target of 50% renewables by 2030. It's currently at 20%. But Anastasia Palaszczuk insists those targets won't cost jobs in the mining sector. We are the energy powerhouse of the nation. We have coal, we have gas and we have renewables. But what we know is that hydrogen is going to be the secret to our long-term success. Experts say it's not a matter of picking renewables over fossil fuels, with both having to work together. Queensland has the potential to be a powerhouse, and it depends on how you think of powerhouse. Is it a powerhouse for export only? Is it a powerhouse for domestic and export use? I think Queensland could be a powerhouse for both. Rachel Riga, ABC News, Brisbane.